Hi, today we're having story time. Have you ever wondered about electricity and how it works? Asher has. So, we have this book. It's called Oscar and the Bird. It's a book about electricity. A start with science book by Jeff Waring. Okay, let's begin. Oscar and the Bird, a book about electricity by Jeff Waring. One day, Oscar saw a tractor standing in the field. He climbed up to look in the cab when, suddenly, the windshield wiper started to move. Swish, swish! How did that happen? Oscar wondered. Bird flew down from her branch. Electricity is making the wiper move, she said. You must have pressed the switch by mistake. What's electricity? Oscar asked. It's a kind of energy that people use to help things move, make sounds, light up or heat up, Bird said. Where does it come from? Oscar wanted to know. Bird hopped down to show him the engine. It flows through wires from this battery, she said. The battery has chemicals inside it that make electricity. It's a very big battery, Oscar said. It's a big battery for a big tractor, Bird said. Batteries come in all shapes and sizes. Even a tiny one can make electricity. And she told Oscar about some other machines that are powered by batteries. Can you think of some things that are powered by batteries, Asher? Ah, uh, yeah! Uh, what about your Power Wheels car? Uh, yeah, that uses electricity too. Together, these two small batteries can make a strong beam shine from a flashlight. This rechargeable battery has powerful chemicals inside it that can make electricity strong enough to move a toy. This tiny round battery can keep a watch ticking for more than two years. This long, slim battery is powerful too, and light. Just right for machines you carry around and use a lot, like mobile phones or an MP3 player. Why doesn't the windshield wiper move all the time? Oscar asked. When the switch is off, there is a gap in the wires and the electricity can't get around to the wiper, Bird said. When you press the switch on, the wires join up and the electricity can cross the gap and move the wiper. Switch on. <laughs> Does everything in the tractor need electricity to work? Oscar asked. Some things need electricity, said Bird, like the lights, the radiator, and the wiper. The engine needs electricity to start too, but it needs gas to make the tractor move. Oscar looked up. Does electricity flow through those wires as well? He asked Bird. Yes, Bird answered. Does that electricity come from a battery too? Oscar asked. No, Bird said. It comes from a power station. It's going to the town so that people can light and heat their homes. I want to in the sky. Why are the wires in the sky? Oscar asked that too. So that they're out of reach and you'll be safer, Bird said. They carry lots of electricity and it would be very dangerous if it flowed through you. You should never touch a wire, Oscar. Just then, in the distance, they could see flashes of lightning. Lightning is electricity too, Bird said. There is a kind of electricity all around us, but most of the time we don't see or notice it. Over on the hill, the blades on the wind turbines were turning in the wind. Is electricity helping them move? Oscar asked Bird. No, Bird said. It's the other way around. The wind turns the blades and the movement makes electricity. Then it started to rain. Oscar and Bird rushed back to the tractor. Swish, swish. The wiper is wiping the water away so that we can see out, Bird said. Then let's not turn it off yet, Oscar said. Thinking about electricity, in the fields, Oscar found out what electricity is for. Electricity is energy we use as power to help us do things, like give light when it is dark, or clear away rain, or play music. Think of some things you use every day. Which ones need electricity to work? Can you think of something? Very good! Something like a TV uses electricity. Something like a computer, uh, a hair dryer, uh, geez, so many things all over the place. Lights. How electricity works. Electricity flows through wires. The wires are made of metal to help the electricity flow easily. Switches can stop or start the flow. Power lines. Battery wires. Some electricity is so powerful that it's dangerous. You should always be careful near wires, batteries, plugs, and sockets. What electricity is made from? Electricity is made in different ways. With chemicals, by burning coal or oil, 
With wind, lightning is a kind of electricity that is found in nature. Oscar thinks electricity is great. Do you think so too? Yeah. yeah. Me too. Thank you so much for joining us today yeah. in reading Oscar and the yeah. Bird, a book about electricity by Jeff Waring. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed the story and learned something about electricity. All right, we'll see you next Friday, kids. Bye. Bye. About the author. Jeff Waring studied graphics in college and worked as an art director of British Vogue. He is currently creative director of Glamour magazine. He is the illustrator of Black Meets White by Justine Fontes. He says that the Oscar books are based on his own cat, Oscar. Jeff Waring lives in London. This glue gun uses electricity. And should you ever play with batteries? Good. You guys know that batteries are not a toy and they can be very dangerous. Well, you should never, never put them in your mouth. Yeah, if you never swallow them, never put them in your mouth. Never lick them. Yeah. and Never try to bite them. Exactly. And if you see a broken one, they have battery acid and they can hurt you. But yeah, that's right. A flashlight takes batteries. You should never try to touch a power line or try to climb a power line and never touch a wire. And nobody That's right. One power line in the sky, one power line in the sky. So they'll be out of your reach and you guys will be safer. So if you guys ever see something plugged in, should you ever try to touch it or should you ever try to plug anything into an outlet on your own? No. no. Good Only job. In the dark. Good job, Amy. Only an adult should do that. You should never touch a plug and you should never touch a wire. Hi parents. What is your child interested in learning more about? Let us know in the comments below. Maybe we can make a video about it. Be sure to subscribe to Asher's Day and click that bell notification. And that way you'll get notified of all of our new videos that we upload every Friday morning. And check out Asher's Day on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'd love to be friends.